What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do like this kind of video. So I do make a lot of video relating to Turkey because my husband is Turkish and I'm from Nigeria. Um, so I do make a lot of video on Turkey. I do have other videos like mom's vlogs and stuff like that. But, excuse me, but this kind of video seem to get a lot of attention because there's a lot of people who are date currently dating Turkish men and they want to know what to do before they get into like a serious relationship. Now, before I start this video, I want to go ahead and say that I am not an expert, an expert on Turkish men. I not Turkish, as you can see. Um, I've, I'm married to a Turkish man, so I guess that's why a lot of people feel like they can Hi. ask me those questions and I can probably relate. And most of your stories, I can totally relate to. So if you do have questions that you want to know answers to, or you want to get someone else's opinion, someone who's been, um, someone who's, who's not Turkish and who's in a relationship with a Turkish person, you can feel free to write it down below in this video, or you can message me on my Instagram. It's Winifred underscore Harry on Instagram. Um, so let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right. So I've gotten some positive feedback on Turkish men and kudos to all you Turkish guys who are out there making those girls fall in love with you. Kudos to you, you're doing a great job. But also, there are also some bad parts of um, women who've dated some Turkish guys. So I've gotten a lot of videos who are like, oh, Turkish men make you their slave. You're pretty much a slave to a Turkish man. You don't have a life. A Turkish man don't want you to work because they want to control you. They want to do all these kinds of things I've gotten. So I wanted to make this video to make it clear to those of you who are trying to get into a relationship and you're not sure if you're going to be that slave to a Turkish man. I want to make this video to make it clear that you don't have to be a slave if you don't want to. So now, <laughs> I say this to say, like I'm very confident in myself. Um, so no man can make me a slave. Like you can only be a slave to anybody, not just to a Turkish man, to any man if you allow it. So now I don't allow it and I don't condone it. So there is no way any Turkish man can make me their slave. I have seen, um, to be to be quite honest with you, if we're being honest with this video, I have seen some women who have been, you know, not like a slave, but like they're, I'm also a stay-at-home wife, um, but that was by choice because we had a kid and we don't have families here to help with the kid and stuff like that. But there are some people who chose that life. So if it's the life that you chose for yourself, you cannot go out and complain that, oh, my Turkish man abuses me, or he makes me a slave, all I do at home is make tea for him and cook and clean. I do that too because I want to. My husband works hard for our family, and my job is to take care of him. <laughs> Thank you, baby. My son is Turkish, so I feel bad for any girl who's going to try to date him. Like, he knows how to get to you, right? Right, Aiden? Yeah. Yeah. But, so, my thing is, so, if you think being a stay-at-home wife and taking care of your man by cooking and cleaning and, like, taking care of the kids while he's out struggling all day and all night for you... If you think that's you being a slave, then sweetie, you are in the wrong relationship because relationship, I feel like it's 50-50. Someone gives, someone takes. Well, when not someone gives, someone takes. It's 50-50. Like you guys have to do things together to make your life work. Aiden, stop doing that, baby. Go finish your fruit. Um, 
you guys have to do things together. So now, since I'm not out working physically, I'm home doing other things. Like, I'm not expecting him to go out all day and work and make money and come home and clean and cook for me while I'm home all day. So do you get what I mean? So for that, for those questions that I get, oh, Turkish men to make you a slave, you're a slave if you ever marry a Turkish man. Um, all they want is for you to sit home and they can go out and do whatever they want. That is absolutely false. There are a lot of Americans who are married and they're stay on stay at home wives and their husband. Okay, baby. All right, enough. Okay. So there are a lot of Americans who are stay at home wives and their husbands go to work and the wives do the same thing that I do. Does that make does that make them a slave? It does not make them a slave. So I don't want you guys getting that perspective of all a Turkish man and not all Turkish men have their wives staying at home. I know a lot of Turkish men who have wives. Their wives are in school or they they're working or they you know they all have things to do. So not all Turkish men have their wives sitting at home. Maybe back in the day in Turkey um, the wives have no other option because there was no education for women. But this is 2020. Like, women have their own rights. They have their own mind. You should have your own mind. You should be comfortable in yourself and in your relationship. So don't ever, don't ever let anybody tell you that because you're married to a Turkish man, you're going to be a slave. Because, honey, it is not like that. It is... Definitely, if you choose to be a slave, then that's, that's, if that's what makes you happy, then that's what makes you happy, but no Turkish man wants a slave or a dog, you know, like, I just, I just find that question so ridiculous, like, oh, if you're married to a Turkish man, then you're a slave, or you have to do is cook, you have to do whatever he wants you to do, blah, 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 listen, I stay at home, all day my husband goes to work and i can do whatever i want to do i can go out i can go shopping i can do whatever i want to do because my husband can provide for me that way and how do i provide for him by keeping the house clean like he we buy the house together um because of the money he works outside i push him inside from behind I help him by, you know, making sure he has food, making sure his clothes are clean, making sure our kid is taken care of, making sure that the house runs. Like I pretty much runs the house from inside and he runs the house from outside. So that's how I see it. I don't see it as, as a stay-at-home wife or mom that you're a slave girl. It is not like that. <laughs> My husband always thinks that I'm controlling him while I'm the boss. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, we're pretty much equal. We just have different roles. So, no, you're not a slave to a Turkish man. Okay? Get this right. A woman's job is to please her husband just like her husband is supposed to please her how do you do that if you guys can both go out and work so before i had aiden i was working and so was he like i was not just oh my god i met a turkish guy let me sit home and be a slave to my husband no we both had sep we both had different jobs and i worked he worked once we found out we were having a kid i worked until a month before i gave birth after i gave birth to aiden i stopped working and of course i'm a mother my job as a mom is to take care of my child and what better way to do that instead of me paying somebody else to come in my home and watch my kid, I would rather do it. I save that money for our family. So that's that's the whole thing. So like, I just, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from. So don't ever think, yes, it is a lot making turkey, uh, making tea for a guy three times a day. It is a lot, but so is going out to work every single day, dealing with crazy people, dealing with people in general. It's a lot of work. So I don't see it as, oh, I am, you know, I am a slave because I'm home, I'm cleaning, I'm doing this. No, I see it as a satisfaction. Like I see it as me helping, this, like raising this family and that's how you should see it. So for all the ladies, I feel bad for you guys who have dated the wrong Turkish man and this guys have made you done, you know, crazy things and now you have that perspective um, what is it? A possession? No, not possession. 
perspective <laughs> and you now you have that perspective of Turkish men being this way not all Turkish men are crazy and at the same time not all Turkish men are good so you just have to find yourself the right one and number two you just have to be very comfortable in yourself like confidence is key if you're not confident in yourself trust me nobody is gonna take you seriously if you feel like you're a slave then guess what a slave you will be I don't feel like a slave so no one is ever going to make me a slave because I'm not <laughs> I hope this video has cleared out so many things that I have gotten from Turkish men are weird, Turkish men make you do this, like a lot of the things I've heard and I'm like, whoa, like I can't even talk about on my channel. It's just, it's crazy. Like Turkish men, Turkish men, Turkish men, Turkish men, you have to remember men are men regardless if they're turkish they're americans they're africans they're indians they're spanish <laughs> men are going to be men so don't let one bad experience like what what was that saying like one bad apple doesn't make all the bunch of apple bad something like that <laughs> so just because you have one bad experience with the turkish man doesn't mean all no. turkish men are the same so i hope this video really helped you out Again, if you enjoy videos like this, please go ahead and keep sending me all your beautiful questions. And I've heard a lot of you talking about a house tour, a house tour. I'm telling you, that will be a long time coming because <laughs> this house is nowhere close to being perfect or even near being what yeah, I want it to be. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so, yeah, so much for commenting, for messaging me, for subscribing. Uh, thank you so, so much for loving me and staying with me through my absences and stuff on YouTube. Let me go. <laughs> well, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. If you say subscribe. Bye. Say subscribe. <laughs> say subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye.